In Fox 4 News at noon. Ford Motor Company is reorganizing, dividing the automaker into two separate divisions, one for electric vehicles and the other for gas engines. Thanks for joining us at Fox 4 News at noon. I'm Carrie Stolen for Kim Burns. And I'm Pat McGonigal. Fox 4's Chuck Pepitone is live outside Shawnee Mission Ford to explain how these changes will impact the company's large workforce here in the metro. Hey, John. Yeah, that's right, Pat. You know, each Ford division is going to have its own leadership. Ford Model E is going to focus on the electric vehicles, and Ford Blue is going to continue to improve internal combustion engine models. Ford says it expects, though, that half of its sales will be electric vehicles by 2030 as the company is accelerating development of new battery-powered models. Kansas City assembly workers make both the F-150 pickup truck and the Ford Transit van. Ford is introducing an electric ver version of the Transit cargo van. That e-van along with batteries for it are being made here. That's good news for about 7,100 workers at Ford's Kansas City plant. This day is about growth. This day is about Ford growing. Um, and yes, maybe over time as mass adoption to these digital electric vehicles uh, change and accelerate, will our ice volume uh, fall over at some point or, or deteriorate? Uh, yes, that could happen. That means the truck line at, at the Kansas City plant may be limited to assembling only pickups with those internal combustion engines. The new F-150 Lightning pickup, the electric truck, is being already being built at a plant in Michigan, with Ford also constructing a new plant in Tennessee for future electric truck production. Gas and di diesel engines, though, still will be responsible for much of Ford's profits during the next 10 years. Pat, Kerry. All right, John Pepitone, live in Shawnee. Thanks for that.